Now court judges respond to reports the city has not used millions of dollars allocated to the juvenile justice system. This after a teenager is accused of killing a French Quarter tour guide while wearing an ankle monitor that was allegedly not being tracked. Ashton Brothers joins us with more. Lee and Meg, the judges say they rely on the ankle monitoring program and they need the system to function. Wherever it is and however it's allocated, let's get it into use. Juvenile judges of Orleans Parish spoke in front of the New Orleans City Council Monday, expressing concern over the nearly four and a half million dollars in unused ARPA funds still collecting dust years after being allocated for juvenile justice services. We're doing the most that we can with nothing. Council President Helena Moreno says the council made the funds available to the city's criminal justice coordinating committee two years ago. The head of that committee, Tanisha Stevens, says she hasn't requested money for electronic monitoring, nor has it been in her budget since 2018. Let me just go on the record and say that OCJC is not in the business of running an electronic monitoring program. Orleans District Attorney Jason Williams says juvenile court judges should not rely on ankle monitors until they're being tracked in real time. Technology is good, but it's only as good as the human beings who use that technology, and I do believe that a few of the dollars of the 4.5 over the past two years could have been used to pay some adults to look at the little dots that represent juveniles. Chief Judge Candace Bates Anderson denies a claim from Commissioner Stevens that she communicated with an agency regarding real-time ankle monitoring. If we had it, we would have the program. Further suggesting the judges haven't been included in any ARPA funding discussions. Our voice is only as important as it's heard. That to me poses a systemic process problem. I'm happy to be at the table with all of these judges. Okay, I'm going to when I'm okay. invited. Council member Leslie Harris offered to take responsibility for making sure the funds get used and broke down the budget proposed when the funds were first allocated. 500k for restorative justice, 1.9 million for programming, 175,000 for technical assistance, and more than 3 million for assistance and long-term care. The deadline for allocating the money is December of this year. What does it look like to return $4.45 million when we have a city that is begging and our children are begging for an opportunity to be heard? Moreno says they should be receiving a viable proposal by the end of this week where the city council would appropriate money and in partnership, the court and the Office of Juvenile Justice would implement the program. Somebody's got to pick it up. And so we're now going to pick up this ball and 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 roll with it. District Attorney Jason Williams says he's working on the legislative level to come up with a set of standards for electronic ankle monitoring. The judges say by law, juvenile offenders who are detained for more than 60 days and haven't been tried have to be released, so their options are limited.